Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be trying to calculate the eigenvectors denoted by the letter U, where U, because of the three by three matrix, U equals U1, the first one, U2 and U3. So the eigenvectors associated to each eigenvalue. Okay. Um, one thing you have to know that when we calculate this, we need to calculate one by one. So every single eigenvalue has to be put back in to calculate the respective eigenvector. Anyway, this is I recommend watching this video only if if you've seen the previous videos on how I calculate these eigenvalues here, because this is calculated from the previous one. Anyway, I assume you've seen this, so I think we should jump straight ahead. Okay, so let's have a look. So first things first, let's work with eigen one equals four. Okay, for the purposes of the video. So using lambda one equals four, our matrix now well, we have a minus four i times the vector, u eigenvector, equals zero. Now, four, remember, i is the identity matrix, so it's just one's across diagonal. If we're multiplying that by four, four's across diagonal. Since we're doing a minus four's across the diagonal for the matrix i, only these are affected, so you subtract all of these by four. So therefore, our matrix combined is now zero here, two here, two here, so subtracted by four, and copy the rest down. Okay, and all of this we multiply against the the vector u, and this equals zero. So let's just you know change this up a bit. We don't need to write u there. So it's just this times this vector here. In other words, um, yeah, maybe I should actually write that instead. Okay. So the vector will be u1, u2, u3. Nice. So let's do this. So how do we calculate this? Well, we multiply across and we do this row minus this column. Okay, so basically 0 times u1 is 0. Minus 10 times u2 is minus 10 u2. 10 times u3 is plus 10 u3. And all of this, by the way, equals 0. So I should actually run over here. So let's just say zero, zero, zero. So technically this solution equals zero. Okay, next one. This row times this column, so we're gonna have again two times zero times one is u one is zero. Two times u two is two u two. Minus two times u three is minus two u three. And this also equals zero. And lastly, this row times this column, I'll do it quickly, will give you minus two u two plus two u three. Okay, so I mean this looks pretty obvious at this rate. You can kind of clearly see that if you're gonna combine them, since there's no u1 involved, let's just take the first one. We're gonna have minus 10 u2 plus 10 u3 equals zero. Therefore, 10 u2 equals 10 u3. So actually, u2 here equals u3. So I mean the way it works. For example, u1 should be chosen arbitrarily. So let's suppose we choose a value for u1. Let's just call it 1. You know, then we have to choose something for u2. The thing is, you're choosing 1 here will have no real impact since everything multiplied by 0 is still 0. But ultimately, I mean, this is really it. You see, so let's just, let's just make it more clear, okay? Okay, let me just rub all this out. So... We don't need this. So we said, okay, we can define u1. So we define u1 as, let's just call it t. And u2 we define as s, which of course also equals u3. So therefore, uh, u eigenvector is just simply T S S for the first eigenvalue. Okay. And then really just repeat the rest. To pick act to to give an actual numerical solution, I mean really you can also write like this. Okay. U also equals, for example, so T one zero zero plus S zero one one. In other words, T times 1 is T, T times 0 is 0, T times 0 is 0. So you just, this would be the more formal way of writing things. 